Yeah, uh, felt like the first game of the season all over again. A little deja vu there. Obviously, we opened up with the Cavs, so good to have some some familiar faces back. Um, you know, it's always a learning process and just trying to figure out who you're going to be as a team. But all in all, a good win against a really good team on the second night of a back-to-back. And, um, you know, we came out and took care of business. It didn't look like Pascal had missed three weeks. So what did you see out there? Play next yeah, he just looks sharp. I mean, he's been in the gym. He's been in the lab working on this game the last couple of days, probably last week or so. I know you guys seen him a little bit. Um, so after you get through that first part of, you know, rehab and recovery, then it's trying to get your body ready for the on-court work. And he just looks sharp. And, um, you know, he really gave us a big boost and um, carried us, in, especially early in the first quarter, first half. Is it all surprising that you have that defensive cohesion, like with bringing all these guys back all at once? No, you would hope the defense doesn't waver or doesn't change much at all. The offense is the part that, you know, be up and down. Um, but um, you, you, you got to be able to rely on your defense every night in this league. And um, I thought tonight, I mean, holding them to 88, I know they missed some shots, but they got some talented guys out there. Um, so to hold them to 88 is pretty good. It's been a long stretch of you guys winning by uh, getting like 30 more shots than opponents. Uh, you had fewer tonight. Is it nice to win that way? Uh, we don't really, I don't know. It doesn't feel any different. All, every game we play just feels like chaos so it doesn't it doesn't really feel any different I didn't know that that's an interesting stat but um they actually kicked our butts on the offensive glass um so give them credit for that but uh I mean usually we're doing that to people but to be able to come out of here with a win and just I'll take any win we can get and this felt equally chaotic then if they all feel like chaos. yeah for sure all of them feel crazy but I felt like we were in control for most of the game and um I just thought we had a good approach and it wasn't pretty it wasn't perfect um but you got to be able to take the wins in stride and, and learn from them and try to get better. What have you learned about this team through 20 games? Uh, not much. It's hard to sum up anything, you know, so inconsistent with injuries and different lineups and different rotations. So um, we got a lot. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of, of a little bit of everything, um, which is good. And, you know, you got to figure out how we're going to put that together to be the best version of what we are, whatever that is. And um, we're in a good spot. So I I like our team. I like where we're at. And um, I like where we're headed. And we just, you know, there's probably time for us to start putting together some nice stretches of basketball here going forward. Nick was uh, really praising Pascal's leadership during the time that he was out kind of pulling guys um, to the side and practice and all that. I, I know this is not new necessarily, but how have you seen him get more comfortable with the kind of vocal side of leadership over the years. No, I mean, it is new for him, to be honest, but um, especially in front of the group. I mean, he's always pulling guys to the side and helping them. Um, but for him to just be the, the guy, being vocal, being in front of the group, stopping the huddle, stopping practice, um, you know, maybe you get bored when you're not playing and you just want to impose your, your will on the team. And he's been great. We need him to do that. He's our best player. It's always great when your best player is also a leader. And um, we need him to have a big voice in what we do around here. And um, guys will respect that. And he shows and shows up and he leads by example. But being able to lead, you know, with your voice is also very powerful. So as much as he wants to do that, I, I would love to have it and more. He needs to do it more. And, uh, what did you think of the, the new look bench and having Gary and Scotty coming off the bench? And what could a bench unit look like if you're willing to experiment with the starters? Yeah, I mean, it makes us dangerous. You know, it makes us dangerous when you got that type of talent coming off the bench. Um, again, you still got to mix and match with the rotation. I think coach was trying some stuff there um, for different reasons. But um, when you got the, that type of talent and those type of players, it'll even out the team and balance the team out. And I think, you know, we just get a little unbalanced at times with lineups and rotations and um, something that can help us going forward to find more rhythm and flow to what we do. But I thought both of those guys handled it well. They took it in stride. They came and played their games and, and were very um, prepared and active and they didn't pout or, or show any, you know, ill emotion towards it. And that's what you expect, you know, as you want to be a part of a great team. It's, it's about winning and we won tonight, so everybody should be happy. How do you see OG's role changing? 
as Pascal comes back and gets more minutes. It didn't look much different tonight. Um, so you hope that he can stay, you know, aggressive and stay consistent with what he's got going. Um, you know, just maybe move over a slide. And sometimes when P's going, you just got to get out of his way. But other than that, um, I thought uh, he smashed up on Donovan Mitchell. He had eight points. OG still finished with, you know, 20 and, you know, yeah, one rebound. He's got to rebound a little bit. But uh, <laughs> Pascal's probably still in all his rebounds. But, um, yeah, he had a, he had a great game. So he, he, he can't take too much of a back seat. And, um, you know, I hope we've got to keep him aggressive going forward. Brent, how are you feeling just in relation to the illness you were dealing with? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. A couple of ugly misses there, a little off balance, trying to get my legs up underneath me. But um, my, my wind is building back up. I feel physically feel better, um, clearing up some of the congestion. Um, but now, as you know, just got to keep working on my body and getting back strong and getting a pop and the strength back in my legs. But uh, I feel great compared to where I was, so I'll take it. And um, each day is getting better. How many of the words that you may have said to Neto on the way back up after you dropped that three on him? Not many, but uh, not many. But I like Neto, man. He's a, he's a he's a heck of a competitor. I really respect his game. Um, you know, I won't share what I said, but uh, I was probably more frustrated at the ref than I was him. So I'm glad they let me push him off, and you know, I got an extra three out of that. A couple minutes, coach threw me back in, so I'll take it. Thanks, guys.